Viva Las Vegas, as a certain pop icon sang in 1964. And with its wealth of entertainment options and dedication to all things fun, that appraisal still very much stands decades later. Las Vegas is one of the most popular and, let's be honest, notorious tourist cities in the world. Vegas is a metropolis, located in the vast Nevada desert with huge hotels and casinos lining the 4.2-mile strip. As it's located in the Mojave Desert, Las Vegas is classified as having a hot desert subtropical climate. Nighttime temperatures tend to be significantly lower. Due to the climate, the best time to visit Las Vegas is between February and April, spring, and from September to November, autumn. The weather will be more manageable, and you will avoid summer tourist peak season. Just keep an eye on the calendar for that year's US spring break, taking place around Easter, if you want to avoid a mini spike in tourism. There's a lot more to the city than its party reputation, the entertainment in Las Vegas is as varied as you could wish. However other areas, such as the old, glittery Fremont Street in the historic, cultured downtown area, have their own offerings for tourists. Here's some of the exciting best places you can visit during in Vegas. Las Vegas Strip Las Vegas Avenue, also known as Long Street, is the most prosperous street in Las Vegas. It is a symbol of Las Vegas, with its regionally themed hotels, restaurants and shopping places. With entertainment programs as a major attraction, and tourists from all over the world flock to the city. The night scenes in Las Vegas are especially beautiful, and some Hollywood movies are taking place here. South Strip Ostentatious is the name of the game in Vegas. The more flashy, gaudy, or luxurious, the better. The south end of the Strip has tons of hotel options, including some of the most iconic hotels in Vegas. New York New York, Paris, the Bellagio, the Mirage, MGM, Aria, Cosmo, and much more. Downtown Las Vegas The main difference between the Strip and downtown is the vibe. There are casinos, bars, and restaurants galore. But downtown is much more relaxed than the Strip, retaining that classic Las Vegas charm without being garish or overwhelming. This area contains the original Las Vegas casinos, including El Cortez, Golden Nugget, and Golden Gate. There are also numerous museums, restaurants, and bars in the area, as well as the famous Fremont Street Experience, a pedestrian-only thoroughfare covered by a canopy of more than 2 million LED lights, and a state-of-the-art sound system that comes to life every night for a spectacular sound and light show called, Viva Vision. If the mega casino resorts of the Strip don't appeal to you, try staying downtown instead. The hotels are a little older and may not offer the same flashy amenities as Strip resorts, but they're no less luxurious and they're often cheaper and not as busy. The Mob Museum In 1911, the town was incorporated as part of the newly founded Clark County. Urbanization took off in 1931 when work started on the Boulder Dam, now the Hoover Dam, bringing a huge influx of young male workers, for whom theaters and casinos were built, largely by the Mafia. Explore the many facets of organized crime and law enforcement through four floors of artifacts, videos and interactive exhibits. After a historic journey, discover what organized crime is doing today, and how law enforcement is fighting back. If you are looking for something unique and off the strip in Las Vegas, the Mob Museum is it. The layout and displays, rooms and videos are all very interesting and keep you captivated for the three hours or so that you are in there. This is well worth the trip into downtown and the admission. Fountain of Bellagio There is nothing like seeing them in person. The fountains of Bellagio were destined to romance your senses. It is the most ambitious, complex water feature ever conceived and it's absolutely free for any visitor to enjoy. 
Step back, or find a comfortable perch to sit, and watch against the backdrop of the Las Vegas lavender sky. Each performance is unique in expression and interpretation, so no matter how many times you have seen the fountains, they always have more in store to wow you with. Fall in love with this unprecedented aquatic accomplishment. At Bellagio, more than a thousand fountains sway in front of the hotel, enhanced by music and light. The display spans more than 1,000 feet with water soaring as high as 460 feet into the air. The Fountains of Bellagio is a daily experience in Vegas, with shows every 30 minutes, between 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and every 15 minutes from 7 p.m. to midnight. On weekends, the fountains run every 30 minutes from noon to 7 p.m. and every 15 minutes from 7 p.m. to midnight. There are still many places that you can explore in Las Vegas. Tell us in the comments, which place is the most interesting for you? Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you've been to one of these places, you can write in the comment section below.